why is she so thirsty? Why is she lethargic? She's pregnant, She's pregnant right? So you might want to look up um, specific diabetes. pregnant diabetes. There's a special word for that. Do you happen to know it? Okay, so that's some research that you'll want to do. And she doesn't necessarily have a disease because she's pregnant, that's a normal thing. But having diabetes when you're pregnant, how do you say that, you think? Gestational diabetes, right? My name is Allison Hutchinson and I teach biomedical science at the CTE Academy in Sioux Falls. So every day when I'm trying to plan the learning experience, what I mostly think about is how can I help my kids enjoy their time with me as much as I enjoy my time with them. Um, you saw today that it's always active and um, every day is different, I like that aspect. I really like um, that in high school biology at least, we're not discovering anything new necessarily, uh, but my kids are constantly rediscovering um, what's already been found out. And for them the first time, it's really exciting to have a kid go, oh, um, those are kind of the, the moments that I live for. I've tried to become more of a tour guide. Um, life is really exciting and all that students need is someone to point out all the exciting places. One of my favorite quotes is that the best teachers are uh, masters of the obvious, that they see what's going on and they point it out to students and once the student sees that their life is never the same. Well, we just went to the Eastern Dakota Science Fair and we had seven projects. Um, we had one team that uh, did a really great job and actually gets to compete again in Minneapolis and so um, just like a proud parent almost when I listen to them talk about the science that they've done and how they've designed their experiments and the statistical analysis that they've done um, to um, validate their data. Um, it, my heart gets really big. It makes me really happy to see everything that they can accomplish. We're going to uh, now sum, calculate all those dominant alleles and all those recessive alleles. You remember how we did that uh, earlier when we were working through our genetics problems? Every homozygous dominant individual has two dominant alleles. Heterozygous has one allele. My name is Steve Ortmeyer. I teach at Lincoln High School, and I teach AP Biology and Biology. I think the, the biggest thing about teaching is relationships that you develop with the students. It's, uh, if that part of it wasn't happening, I probably wouldn't be teaching. Because science is fun, but it's the you know, those light bulb moments you see in the kids that make me keep coming back for it. Some of the biggest challenges in being a biology teacher and an AP biology teacher is keeping up on all the science. Because any textbook is, as of right now, outdated. And so it is a constant struggle to stay up on the latest events. So there's a lot of time spent looking through electronic journals staying up on it. The job I do when I'm not teaching, I'm a research assistant out at Sanford Research. And one of the main reasons for me in that part of my life is, is staying current. You know, the new technologies that are coming out and the new uh, discoveries that are being made. One of the themes um, in my teaching style is, of, of course, caffeine. I mean, that's important in the mornings. I try not to take a lot very seriously. And, you know, I, my colleagues are great in putting up with that. And I, I certainly don't take myself too seriously. If I wasn't um, enjoying and laughing and passing on uh, wisdoms and knowledge and experiences and being a role model, I, it wouldn't be a job for me. One, two, three, last two bars, go! Ba, 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 blah, right? Does it say to vomit through your horn on the last note? Shh, hey, it's sort of serious because that's what I heard. Ba, 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 blah, right? Ba, 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 finish. Strong, strength, not vomit bad. Strength, you know, good, yeah? I'm Jason Rigg. I teach band here at Axtell Park Middle School. I also teach band at Hawthorne Elementary and Hayward Elementary. And there's jazz band here too. My heart is, I guess, here with these middle school kids, um, getting them to, to get started and fired up and heading into high school now. I, I never thought that I would have found um, the joy that I get from it, but it, it fulfills me more than anything ever has, honestly.
My dad and my mom and my stepdad are all now retired music teachers, and so I kind of, that was the last thing I wanted to do, actually, and then I took uh, a French horn lesson at a summer music camp, and it, I just, I fell in love with it, and I don't know how else to explain it other than I, I was kind of decent at music, you know, like a tall kid can, you know, shoot baskets or something. I was okay, and music was in my head, but when I left that camp, it was in my heart, and I didn't want to do anything else. Part of it is, you know, knowing that this kid maybe came from a weird situation, and maybe they couldn't afford an instrument, and we were able to get them one, and they went from honestly not knowing which end of the horn to blow in to being a part of a band that sounds, you know, pretty good. And I think, I think that can do a lot to, you know, uplift a kid and, and let them know that there's, there's stuff out there for them, no matter where they come from. It's the hardest thing and the, it's the most rewarding thing that I've ever done. There are some great teachers in this district and it's, it's an honor to be with them and, and to teach with them and to go to battle every day and just and do what we do and hope that every day makes a, makes a difference in at least one kid's life. Take away two positives. Now, before I even tell me what the answer is, because I know you guys know what this is, okay? <laughs> Think about for a second, if you're taking away positive, are we getting bigger or smaller? smaller. We're getting smaller. Which way are we going on the number line? We're going that, yeah, we're going left. We're going in the negative direction. We're going in the negative direction. My name is Jill Vetris, and I teach at the Middle School Immersion Center. I have three classes of immersion math, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And then I teach two classes of ELL math, and that would be on the Axtell side of Axtell Park. It's just, it's fun to see them light up when they learn, and they're just so excited about the learning process, and they just, they just want to know. So it's, it's all about the kids. I feel like I'm learning every day with the kids and the language is a definite barrier but we work through it and um, I think trying to figure out what they know and making sure that what I'm giving them is new material and I'm just helping them with the English part of math of stuff that they already know and okay well this is what it means here. Um, I just, I don't want to be giving them something that they already know and that they're bored math-wise. I guess the biggest thing for me has been seeing the growth of the kids, especially the ones that have, that came in my first year um, and hardly knew any English or didn't know any English and to see them come back and start up a conversation with me, it's just like, oh, it's, it's amazing. It's really makes you want to come back every day. I just hope that all the kids I see know that that I care about them and that they, they know that there is one person in their life that will always have their back no matter now or 10 years down the road or at, at any time that they always have someone that believes in them and knows that they are going to be someone, someone special. Nice job. How many vowels do we have? My name is Sarah Weeblehouse. I teach kindergarten at Longfellow. I love teaching kindergartners. I love to teach them how to read, how to write. For most of them, it's their first experience with school and they're still excited about school. And um, that's really my favorite, is teaching them being their first experience. So seeing them learn to read is my favorite. A lot of kids come in at different ranges. Some kids have not had any experience and so we start right at the beginning with letters and sounds and some kids are already reading and so we have a wide range of students to reach and that's challenging but it's good for me because then I'm learning too to meet their needs. We differentiate a lot. Um, some of the things we've been doing with our Daily Five is they have books in their buckets that are at their level. Um, I was just trying to get a kiddo that uh, needed to pick a challenging bucket for himself so uh, he wasn't going to get bored with it. I love seeing them read their first book and they look at me and they have this huge grin on their face and I'm like, I know, you just did it, that's awesome. Um, or when they're reading on their own and they come up to me like, Mrs. Weewals, Mrs. Weewals, I, I figured this word out all by myself, I sounded it out. You know, those are the things that are exciting because they're taking what we've taught and using it on their own and they're excited about it and it pushes them to, to work harder. And I truly believe that it does not matter what their background is, where they've come from, they can all learn and I, I push hard and you know I have high expectations for my students. Every single one of my students I expect them to do 
uh, great things, and they do. They always come through, always meet my expectations.